So, the first thing I needed was a game idea, and when I started this, Halloween was just coming up, so I thought I would make a Halloween-styled game. And the idea was that you're a graveyard keeper, who would try to calm down the dead by lighting candles at their graves. So with the idea done, I started a new project with the third-person template, and I gave it a name. And uh, with this template, you can actually just start the game, and the character already has a functioning camera and movement. This, however, is not entirely what I want for my game, so I will need to adjust the code just a little bit. Yeah, so apparently Unreal Engine 4 uses C++, or a node-based scripting tool called Blueprints, and I'm just gonna go ahead and learn Blueprints because I haven't got enough energy to learn another language. So with that done, the player input and camera is set up the way I want it to, and I can now move on to the general game mechanics. There will be four things that I need to add to the game. One, a gravestone, essentially the position that skeletons will spawn at. Two, the arm, indicating the skeleton is about to pop up. And three, the skeleton. And four, a candle indicator. The spawning system was achieved with the following blueprints. These blueprints may look advanced at first glance, but they are quite simple actually. A simple explanation of how it works is that every now and then the game just checks for available places where there currently is no skeleton spawning, and it will then pick a random one to trigger the spawning chain. The arm is then spawned, which has a separate blueprint that handles all of its actions. And once that arm is destroyed or the skeleton is spawned, it opens up that spot again and another skeleton can be spawned there again. In this case, the rectangle is the grave, the orange cone represents the arm and the cube is the skeleton. And wow, it worked on the first try! And I also added a line ray, which uh, will destroy the skeleton on impact. So I then got this weird camera bug, which happened both in the editor and in-game, and I was like, what the hell, Unreal? Uh, but I spent some time trying to fix it, but then I asked a good friend for help. So, uh, it turned out that I had a controller plugged in with the joystick jabbed upwards, so it was, uh, it was my own fault. Now that that works again, this is starting to look a little bit boring. So I replaced the cube with the character and it immediately got much more fun. Help me! I added a health bar and made the animals. Animals? Why can't I say animals? Enemies. And made the enemies able to attack me. And with that, the main mechanics of the game was done. So it was time to open up Blender. So the first thing I did in Blender was, of course, delete the default cube. And voila! You have a model. I didn't actually record how I made this, so forgive me. I also made a skeleton boy. And I added a skeleton to him. <laughs> With the rig set up, you can now animate him and uh, you can uh, whack him. So I then went in and started to animate him and uh, what the hell? What? Uh, okay, so this uh, looks more creepy than I intended. Um, let's try that again. Much better. Look at him go! I then animated the character and finally I made some environmental models as well. I then threw it all into the game. Oh, and also I had forgotten about the lights, or the candles. So I quickly made new models in Blender and a new particle system for it. And damn, that's looking nice. 
I then needed to bring the arm to life, so I made an animation for that, and I added some particle effects for when the arm comes out of the ground and when you destroy the skeleton or the arm. Nice! Then I needed to, you know, this guy. And for that, we need physics. Come here! Come here, I'll whack ya! Now, only one main thing is missing, and that is the audio. So I looked up a bunch of free sounds online, and then I added them to the game. I had several variations of each sound, and these I added to a sound cue, which randomly played one from the list. This makes it sound a little bit more natural in-game. I also edited together a sound loop out of ambient sounds that constantly plays in the background. Now let's hear what that sounds like in-game. I then added the last additions to the game mechanics, which included picking up the skulls of the skeletons as well as the candles, and the ability to throw them into the graves or at the graves. I also added a simple score system based on your ability to throw the candles in time or throw the skeleton skulls back in the graves, and you would get negative points if you didn't do this fast enough. I then made two extra levels. I then finally made a menu. I made a separate scene for the main menu, and then I added a few buttons where you could choose the levels and simply just quit the game. This of course seems easy, but uh, usually you run into some trouble. After implementing the main menu I just got this weird bug, where you got to play upside down. Since I didn't record this voiceover while I was making the game, I don't actually remember why this happened. So I'll just throw this random blueprint up and pretend it has something to do with it. And just like that, the game is done. So this was my first devlog, so I would love to hear what you think about it. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to me. That would mean a lot. I'm gonna let the game keep playing in the background just so you can see what the gameplay actually ended up like. Thank you for watching. Thank you.